the next area is probably going to be our greatest focus that we'll be talking about today, Keith and I, employer practices, liability insurance. This is everything I'll be talking about now. If you do not have an employer practices liability policy, all these areas I will be talking about will not be will not be covered. They're only covered in this type of policy. Employer practices liability, I speak to a lot of restaurant owners and so many don't have the policy for various reasons. Either your broker did not discuss it with you, maybe the importance of this type of policy was not brought up to you, or the limits were inadequate and many times some important items were not part of your EPLI policy. A big area of restaurants today, another one is wrongful terminations. We get these claims daily and these happen all the time. Wrongful terminations, what's part of that? At will employment, employee handbook, and documentation. For at will employment, how many think just because you have at will employment in your employee handbook that you're protected? You don't have to worry about these type of claims. That gives you such limited coverage that's the furthest from the truth on that is that it's not going to stop lawsuits against you. A constructive discharge could even be an employee that that quits on his own accord, but could still sue you because maybe the environment was unbearable. It's another very important aspect of your employee handbook. You hear a lot of talk about employee handbooks today. So many restaurants I come across today, they get an employee handbook from a friend, maybe a, a prior restaurant you worked at, or maybe off the internet. This has to be tailored to your business with the specific rules of your restaurant. It has to be reviewed annually with a labor attorney because there's so many laws that are changing constantly. What's included? Part of the items included in the employee handbook is at will, a sexual harassment policy, the very important arbitration agreement, and this must be distributed to all your employees and signed. You just can't leave it on your shelf. Documentation. I don't know how many times that employee will come to a restaurant owner with an alleged claim or they're bothered or they want to make an allegation of something and that wrong actions are done by the restaurant owner. Here's another area for just a couple hundred dollars. You could call a labor attorney such as like Keith and he could avoid hundreds of thousands of dollars of lawsuit. Within the last 40 hours, three of my restaurants he spoke with he was probably on the phone with them less than five minutes. These restaurants had to terminate someone, had to fire them. They didn't know that you have to pay them on the spot that day. Just something as simple as not doing something like that can cost thousands of dollars in penalties as well as open you to lawsuits.